Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creek. Today we'll be reviewing the second set of torpedoes for Belfast. Uh, now, Belfast is not necessarily a torpedo ship, and if you're close enough to use torpedoes, you probably have done something wrong. That being said though, she does have a triple launcher on each side, and to an extent you can actually stealth torp. Uh, so actually, let me take a look to see what the concealment is. Alright, so current concealment for my ship is 10.1 kilometers. Now that's not fully concealed, but let's just use that as a base for right now. So the torpedoes that we first went over have a range of 9.4 kilometers. They do 60 knots, have a rate of fire 0.71 rounds a minute, and they do 10,400 damage with a 92.06% chance to flood. Now I prefer these because you have the additional rate of fire and you also have increased torpedo speed. And honestly, you don't need that much range i think the ones that we'll be going over today are yep they're 12.8 kilometer range you really don't need that much range um however you do have the capability of stealth torping technically with these uh, that might be the only advantage however at 52 knots and 0.62 rounds a minute i don't know how effective that will be but they do have pretty good concealment at 1.3 kilometer detectability range so if you do see them you won't have much time to react um, but 12.8 kilometers is kind of a bit much, but they do do 12,800 damage. So if you're looking for pure damage numbers, these torpedoes are the way to go. However, if you're going for speed and rate of fire, you're going to want to go with these ones. Uh, so it's really down to the player preference. You have the good range, good damage, slow speed, slower rate of fire, or lower damage, lower range, higher speed, higher rate of fire. So we already went over the 9.4 kilometer torpedoes. So today we're going to be trying out the 12.8 kilometer torpedoes, which honestly is kind of obnoxious for a cruiser. Um, and even if you do have 12.8 kilometer range, you only have a triple launcher on each side. That limits what you can really do with your torpedoes quite considerably. Um, but regardless, they are still an option and they are able to be used in game. So let's see how we can do with our 12.8 kilometer torpedoes on Belfast today. All right, and here we have ourselves a game. We have five battleships, five cruisers, and let's say two destroyers with no carrier, which is pretty decent for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Belfast is not one of my favorite ships. She's kind of very average, if I wanted to explain her in one word. Well, there's nothing that really stands out about her. She has pretty decent guns, but nothing too substantial. Torpedoes that have the possibility of being okay, but you only have a triple launcher on each side. AA, but you're going up against ships that, like Cleveland's that have monstrous amounts of AA. And, oh, how much is he? Tier 8? Mm, 7.6, so she's about a tier 8. So you'll still run into ships like Prince Oigan, which is way better in every single regard. Um, the only thing that she really has going for her is her smoke screen. Um, and even then, that is not an invulnerability. So, you have to make sure that you're not caught in open water and using your smoke screen. You always want to have some concealment for you, or you can pop the smoke screen and hope that someone else is spotting the target that you're shooting at. And try and do your best to delete the target before the, your smoke screen runs out in order to not be detected. Now, just because you're in a smoke screen doesn't mean that the enemy can't shoot at you, and you will find this quite apparent if you go up against other players. Uh, if you just sit in one spot, you're going to be blind fired and can possibly be still sunk. So even if you're in a smoke screen against a real player, you do want to keep moving back and forth. One tactic I learned is that you have your long smoke screen and then you kind of go backwards to where you first started the smoke screen and then slowly move forward as it disperses uh, that kind of throws off the aim of where the player is expecting you to be because they're expecting you to be at the end of the smoke screen where it stops because that is where it will last the longest and sometimes that's not where you want to fire a good way with dealing with smoke screens is just to launch torpedo spreads at them and see if you can catch the other player unawares. Um, 
as World of Warships logic goes, a smoke screens are torpedo magnets, and that definitely does, well, ring true for most part. Alright, so we are sighted, and we are in range. So let's start opening up. I'm wondering what spotted us though, because that Belfast was not within 10 point, what was it, 10.1 or 10.3? Something like that kilometers when we were spotting. So, yep, there she is. There's a destroyer right there, the Javelin. Alright, so I don't really expect any of these torpedoes to hit, but you never know. You can also single launch your torpedoes. I guess that's another bonus of the British cruisers. Okay, so let's see if we can work on this javelin a bit before she goes undetected in the smoke screen. Well, we got a few salvos out. Alright, so I am going to pop a smoke screen. It is not the British destroyer smoke screen, so I don't have to go half speed. If I go half speed, I will leave my smoke screen. Let's see, torpedo reload. Mm, the torpedo angles are actually pretty decent on this ship. You just don't get enough of them, honestly. Also, you can kind of see my secondaries popping up. Uh, don't even worry about the secondaries. They're absolutely trash. You might get a couple hits and maybe the occasional fire. But besides that, they're not going to do anything. Even against destroyers, they're just going to laugh at you. Right, so there's one down. I don't know if I can use... Well, now I can use armor piercing to my advantage. There, there was quite a strong angle there for the most part, so that's why I was still using a high explosive. But now that we are in a good position, we were able to use armor piercing to our advantage. Alright, so let's just clean out our barrels of armor piercing, switching to high explosive against this destroyer. And let's see what we can do there. We're still going to sit in the smoke screen because... We don't need to leave if we can still see targets. Though I do see that there are quite a few battleships to the southwest of me, so we're going to have to go deal with them pretty soon. Oh, there's a free kill on a Miyoko right here. Alright, smoke screen is down. Let's just finish off this Miyoko real quick. Once we get our aim correct. There we go. Wow, that still took three hits. Ooh, and the javelin's still up, surprisingly. And we are immediately set on fire, but we return the favor. The javelin should go down here any second now. As you can see, our secondaries are trying to hit the ship. It's not really working. Alright, let's see if we can use some torpedoes on this cruiser instead. So I think she is going to start turning like she is now, so we're going to switch around. That was a Citadel hit because those battleships I was worried about are starting to go ham on me. And I am not a very armored ship at all. I am a light cruiser through and through. Just like this Fiji, so I should be able to get some good armor piercing damage on her as well. Oop, that's a torpedo. So we were the ones that were that ended up taking a torpedo. But I think we're going to be set up for a good position here in just a moment against these other battleships. So as soon as we finish off this Fiji, we should be able to be in a good spot to have some long range firepower at these battleships and try and get some of our health back as well. So I was trying to make it to the cap and see if I could get that, but I really have to um, put my smoke screen on now because those are 16 inch guns on Rodney and those will do a lot of damage. Though I think if I get it right, I should be able to get enough pens on the bow. And then our torpedoes are reloaded, but I'm not entirely confident about launching them yet. Maybe let's, let's launch one and see what that does. Let's pop a heal as well. 
Our secondaries are opening up. Let's just launch some more armor piercing towards this Nagato. And get some superstructure damage at best. One major fault about this ship is I have no way to spot enemy ships while I... Ooh, I got a torpedo hit. Uh, and in smoke. So unless you have enemy teammate or teammates to spot for you, not like I do right now, then you're going to be completely blind. So that is actually quite concerning right now because I have no idea where this Nelson is over here, or the Rodney, I should say. We did send out a torpedo for this Nagato, and if she continues on her course, oh, there she is. Um, she should take it. Looks like our smoke screen's going down, so we're going to vacate the area. And maybe send another torp for this Nagato. And I do think she is actually going to take it, so that'll be nice. Single launching torpedoes is very, very nice if you have a bow on targets. Oh, that was almost 10k, that was pretty impressive. Alright, is that Nagato going to take another torque? I think she is. Awesome. And let's give her an award for giving us broadside in the form of 12 6 inch armor piercing shells. And hope that she doesn't spank us back. Right, that was pretty okay. We're kind of playing with fire right now because we don't have any heals left, nor is our smoke screen ready. And we're messing with a lot of battleships that can easily one-shot us. But our rate of fire is a lot better. And I think we should be able to sink Nagato. There we go. And that just leaves us with two more battleships. Nelson and a Nelson. So let's see what our armor piercing can do at range. We do have our torpedoes, however, even with the 12th. 0.8 kilometer torpedoes we are still not in range yet so we do have to move in a little bit closer i do feel like they're going to turn towards me though and we're not really doing anything with their armor piercing at this range we're not actually hitting them really though either but every little bit helps <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just shattering on this one. Let's see. I don't know how she's going to maneuver, so I hesitate to launch torps right now. I guess I can... No, I'm going to save them. And I'm actually going to pop a smoke screen because it looks like they're trying to aim at me. Alright, so let's launch a kind of widespread... Actually, can I even... Okay, so you can only do single launch torpedoes on British cruisers. There's no way to actually do anything other than that. Which can sometimes be a blessing and a curse. A uh, blessing because if you hit one, if they're on the right track, you can hit all of them. But that also has a double-edged sword in the fact that if you miss one and you aim at the same general area, you will most likely miss all of them as well. And in this case, I think I missed all of them. Though I kind of banking on the second Nelson to take some. That's why I kind of spread it towards the rear there. The armor piercing is certainly taking its toll on these enemy battleships. Got another torpedo hit. I will definitely take it. And we're going to start ricocheting at this point, though she is going to turn back again. Our smoke screen is going to dissipate soon, so we're going to have to kind of rush and use our last torpedoes to take out this Nelson. Let's start moving now. Actually, we may not. But we already won. Alright, so let's see how we did, because actually that was pretty decent for a Belfast game. 281,000 damage, 6 ships sunk, 504 shell hits, 4 torpedo hits, 2 aircraft shot down, 2 citadels, 6 fires, 3 floodings, 1 module destroyed, 21 secondary hits for 7600 base XP. 
54,000 damage was in high explosive shells, 172,000 was in armor piercing, so that's quite a bit. Fires did, well, fires and floodings actually, uh, did 10,700 damage. Secondary battery did 3,000 damage, surprisingly, as well. And torpedoes did 40,000 damage on quite a few targets. We damaged 10 ships, we sank six of them. And there's how many ships in the game? Oh, there's a pretty decent amount. So, yeah, these 12.8 kilometer torpedoes are actually not terrible. However, if you are going to be using them like the way I just did, trying to attack head on targets, uh, then the quicker they see it, the more time they have to react. So, possibly having the faster torpedoes would help in that regards. I can see the merit of having either of these torpedoes you have the extended range and the more damage or you get faster speed and better rate of fire so it's really up to your choice i can't say which one is better it all depends on your play style if you prefer to stay at range and use your concealment and smoke screen you're going to want the 12.8 kilometers to reach as far as you can however if you like to play a little bit closer and more aggressive then having a faster rate of fire and faster torpedo speed will help you hit those targets faster in more than one way. So it's really up to your playstyle. Either way, these torpedoes can be useful. Like I said, though, you are mainly going to be using your main guns and you are not a torpedo boat by any means. With that, I will wrap up today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe and join me tomorrow while we go over the second set of torpedoes for Edinburgh or as I again, thank you and take care. <laughs>